morning. Uh, so this just arrived in the mail this morning. And I want to kind of just thank everyone that's been a part of this journey. I mean, I first started doing YouTube, I think when I was 15. So we're talking 15 years ago now. Uh, that is super cool. Look at this. And there we have it. <laughs> I just want to say literally a massive, massive thanks to all of you over the years. You know, when I kind of restarted this channel back in 2020, I never, ever thought that we'd reach that kind of milestone, especially not just making silly guitar videos that can go over there for now. But I, I also wanted to kind of just talk to you guys. I realized that I probably haven't done an update or haven't spoken to you since six, seven months ago or something like that. There's been loads of things going on in the background, really. And I thought maybe I'd share some of those things while we have a little tea in my Dragon Ball Z mug. I'm a poet and I didn't realize. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, where do we begin? I think back in September, one of the coolest things happened. We got to go and play over in Japan as Jack and Owain. And Japan, those of you who know me, that is literally my favorite country on the planet. I'm absolutely obsessed with uh, Japanese history, especially the Sengoku period. Um, which is quite nerdy, but yeah, I absolutely love it. For those of you who are watching Shogun out there, that's the kind of historical period I absolutely love. And um, so it was really cool to not only just play a gig there, but I actually got to stay for an extra week and kind of explore. One of the coolest things we did actually was um, I went to visit Ibanez HQ down in Nagoya. Got to meet all of the Ibanez Japan guys that, you know, we've spoken over email, but never actually met in real life. It was absolutely amazing, those guys. It feels like a family unit. Um, and we filmed actually a playthrough for one of the new guitars, one of the AZs, the HSH ones. I don't know if you guys have seen that, that is over on the Ibanez channel. It's basically like this one but in a beautiful red color. And I know a few of you are asking, what's this guitar for? You know, like you haven't played it yet. It was so that I could basically record that track before we got there using a the guitar with HSH. Um, but yeah, those guitars are amazing. They look so pretty for that price point. I mean, you can't go wrong. I don't want to come across as a salesman though in this video, I just wanted to share. But yeah, if you haven't checked that out yet, I'll leave a link maybe down below. There was a new song, which I'd wrote for that one. Super fun. Um, but yeah, I mean, from there, what else has been going on? I mean, like in January, I went to the NAMM show for the first time since 2020. And again, got to meet all of the Ibanez guys that we've spoken via email, all of the American guys. Um, Tyler, you're an absolute legend if you're watching this. It just feels like such a family unit and that was super fun to see the NAM show. Kind of getting back to, you know, it's almost like pre you know what. Um, yeah, it was a, there was a lot going on. I actually played a gig while we were over there as well at Alva's showroom alongside Hedros Ramos and Daniele Guitardo. In my band, I had Ricardo Oliver and uh, Gianluca Pellerito. Some of you guys might know, like they, those two play with Matteo Mancuso, absolute legend of a player. Um, one of my favorites at the moment, but yet yeah, those two guys, oh my God. I mean, we played with Ricardo on the European tour and in Japan, so I already know him, he's like a brother. Gianluca, we've been like good friends, but never got to play together before. That guy is absolutely killer. I think it's all been filmed, I just need to check. So maybe I'll put out some videos of that once we've got it. That was loads of fun too. And then I guess since since we were at NAMM show, I got to hang a lot with Neural DSP and those of you who uh, probably follow quite a lot of what's going on, know that I'm working closely with those guys, usually using the plugins or the quad cortex. They, again, are like absolute family. 
it was just super nice to hang out in real life and I'm sure you guys saw what they did and I'm sure I thought that was absolutely genius. Um, but yeah, since then, I mean, a lot of the behind the scenes stuff has been recording, working with these companies. I mean, with Neural, I've been making lots of cover song videos, but reharmonizing them and putting guitar solos in that don't necessarily need to be there. They get you sacked from the band if you were actually to play with them. Um, but they're always over on Instagram. They post it on their channel. So if you're not following me on Instagram, I'd highly suggest you do if you want to see like more regular things. Uh, I want to say again a massive thanks over on Instagram. We've just hit 100,000 as well. It's bizarre that both YouTube and Instagram have grown at kind of the same rate. And again, I want to just say a massive thanks to all of you out there for all the support, you know. But yeah, on that kind of note, I mean, with Neural, I got to fly over to the HQ in Finland, I guess last month, and we filmed some super cool stuff, which I can't say much about at the moment, but yeah, we had a lot of fun. I think keep your eyes peeled next month um, for some of that stuff. Also, in terms of original music, I have a new track, I think, coming out potentially at the end of this month too. Um, and there's something coming next month as well. But yeah, I mean, we, we did Birmingham Guitar Show. That was super cool. One thing I forgot to mention is I also joined Laney Amps. I don't know if you guys have seen the LFR cabs. These have been popping up in my videos for a while now, but I actually got to use them live for the first time in Japan. Using two of these in stereo with the Quad Cortex, as well as using like in-ear monitors was a godsend, you know, like I think a lot of the time playing live, especially with our original stuff, you know, the stuff with Wayne, or my original music, like playing with those in-ear monitors takes something away from the gig, I always feel, because it's very often like a silent stage, you know, you don't have wedges in front of you. Playing in Japan and having these things behind me was just so cool, because you can get like things like feedback, which you would never get. You know, if you're just playing with the Ineos, I think there's no speaker to kind of interact with in the same way. Um, so yeah, these LFRs are amazing. I need to say a big thank you to Laney as well for all of their support with them. They provided a cab at the Birmingham Guitar Show when I was over there with Neural. Big 4x12 beast, which is yeah, naughty. But yeah, I mean, other than that, I guess there's been loads of guest solos. I've been doing some session work, um, trying to work on my original music. And then on the other side of things, I've actually just released a brand new course that took a long time together. It's the biggest course I've ever done. It's all about reharmonization. You know, if you've been watching some of those videos that I've done with Neural Covers, um, or even some of the kids' songs that I've reharmonized, things like Baby Shark and Wheels on the Bus. If you're wanting to know how I go about doing these things, then this new course I think is probably the one to check out. It's so big, it's like six hours and 50 minutes. I never ever want to edit or film a course that long ever again. It took so long to do, but I'm really proud of like the final outcome and I think there's a lot of value to be had there. I want to say thank you to all of you for all the support with it so far. It's blown me away, the response. If you are interested in that or any of my other lessons, by the way, there is a discount code. It's 30% off for the next, I think we've still got two weeks of it left. It's like Easter 2024 is the code. But yeah, if you want to check out any of that stuff, head on over to that link down below. I also want to point out that we've been working hard on our educational site um, with Owain Music Bro, whereby we've, for the first time, like included a guest instructor and loads of you might know him, some of you may not. A guy called Seda from Australia, Dylan Reavy. He's an amazing kind of Japanese style video game style composer, I'd say, as well as being a ridiculous guitar player, by the way. He released a course over on there. And then of course the Reharm course is on there to stream too. What's cool is we've just like implemented a new feature too, which is like a progress tracker. So that was something that a lot of the members were asking for, you know, a way of actually seeing how far they've got through 
each course and just keeping kind of like a little note of where they are, um, which is really cool. The Wayne's been working really hard on the site there. I've seen a few comments asking, you know, where is Owen? Is he alive? Is he okay? Yeah, I mean, dude, we speak almost daily. Um, he's super busy working on that kind of educational stuff. I do believe he's got some music in the works too. And maybe, just maybe, we can think about Jack and Owen 3 um, over the, the next few months. The, that's the other thing I want to talk about really is like, you know, Doing all of this other work has been super fun, but this at the moment, these next two months, are probably the first two months where I haven't had such a huge workload in the background. It's kind of inspired me in the sense that I really want to write more original stuff. I think it's been a while since the last release, I guess 2022. So yeah, I'm hoping maybe to finish some original stuff, some stuff with Owain and hopefully have some cool things for you guys to check out, you know, towards the summer. But yeah, I mean, what else can I say? There's a really cool masterclass camp, which I'm doing again this year, MFA Guitar Camp, um, which is run by Davida Leone. Last year, it was myself, Tom Quayle, Nick Johnson, Andy Timmons. That was insane. Honestly, one of the best kind of masterclass camps I've ever done it's just so well organized i don't know how david does it all by himself you know like you have four days of master classes from where you get like a, a one and a half hour master class from each of the guest tutors and then there's a gig every night with one of those um artists so that's super fun there's jams afterwards the private lessons with all of us as well this year it's going to be myself tom quail again um, we've got Josh Meader, one of my absolute favourite guitar players from Australia. He's just an absolute beast. And then the big one, there's Greg Howe, who's, you know, the creator of this kind of style. I wouldn't say creator, he was one of the founding, for, oh, how do I even say this? One of the most influential guys in terms of this style. None of us would play the way we do without Greg Howe, one of my absolute favourite players and Marco Sfogli, who was integral to my playing as well. You know, one of my first YouTube videos was a cover of um, Still Hurt. I mean, he is just one of the most melodic players on the planet. So it's going to be a really fun hang that's in July. I'll leave the actual dates probably popping up somewhere on the screen. But, you know, I just wanted to kind of finally ask what is it that you guys want to see on this channel? I know I've been doing like lessons, you know, original music, the reharm stuff. I'm always open to ideas because now that like, you know, we've kind of hit this milestone, I'm a bit like, well, what what do we do now? You know, like what what do you want to see? Um, it's always that battle. And I think like there's a few things I should mention here is that like imposter syndrome definitely plays a huge part in uploading content at least for myself. I think before I put out everything, I'm always like, oh, that's rubbish, why am I doing that? And it takes that kind of voice in the back of your head to just go, do you know what, just put it out and leave it, you know, like that's that's kind of cool enough. It blows me away when you guys respond with positivity, you know, because I'm sat here like Mr. Negative, like, oh, that was awful. Um, so I mean, yeah, I'd love to get some of the feedback. Maybe we can get like a conversation going in the comments. What is it that you guys want to see? Like I say, as well, make sure you check out, I'll leave down the Instagram uh, link down below because there's probably more regular posts over there in collaboration with Neural DSP. But yeah, what do you guys want to see in the future? Do you want to see more original music? That's kind of my dream, my personal little thing that I want to do. But maybe you guys have other ideas. I don't know. Do you want to see more like content like this where I'm just speaking to you? Or is this super boring you know I don't know let me know please down below in the comments but yeah like I say I just want to say a massive thank you again to each and every one of you that watches these videos it means the absolute world to me you know I never thought 15 years ago is this little guitar player that we'd be here now you know but um yeah thanks again guys and until next time have a great week cheers <laughs>